This is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of It's Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today we've got one that comes by way of a guy named the Fat Hipster. If you look up the Fat Hipster on YouTube, you will be glad you did because he's got a channel with all sorts of interesting reviews. He does some spicy noodles and some other interesting things. So check him out, the Fat Hipster on YouTube. Anyways. He sent me this. This is uh, a European release. It's an export version. Uh, it's Nongshim Shin. Shin Kimchi. A big bowl. And this is what it, it's the size. I, I took the label off, as you can see. That's what I do. It's what I do, and it's the way I do it. So anyway, today is Halloween. Here's the sachet. Yeah, it's Halloween, and Halloween things will be happening. We already have two pumpkins carved. I haven't carved mine. My wife hasn't carved hers. She did the kids' ones. They're, they're a little too wacko to handle large, heavy kitchen knives. But they got to pick out the patterns they liked, so that's, that's a thing. All right, let's add our Berlin water here. Then we need a timer for four minutes. Let me see, I'll use this lid. And we're gonna try using that because this thing's been kind of weird. I'm keeping an eye on that. It's 10.45 in the a.m. right now. Usually I'm out walking at this time, but it's Halloween. We're supposed to get a half inch of rain this morning, so I'm figuring and tomorrow I'm getting a uh, a flu shot and a COVID booster. So they say you're not supposed to do a bunch of exertion before or after, I guess, getting a COVID shot. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to basically take the today and tomorrow off from hoofing it around. I've got, like, the most... I do the most distance walking around this month than I've done since, God, what was it, June of 2021, so that's good, I'll, I'll take that, and uh, yeah, so that's cool. The big thing right now that's dominating everything, of course, are the midterm elections, we've got a uh, really, I guess it's a tight Senate race between, uh, what's her name, Patty Murray and Tiffany Smiley. So I always get bumper stickers. I've got like a binder that I have full of election bumper stickers and I got them from each campaign because it's like, you know, you gotta check them all out. They're kind of cool. And uh, by doing that, I got signed up to get text messages and emails from the Smiley campaign. And oh my God, dude, I would call it stalking at this point violently extreme panhandling i've gotten let's see for i think it said thank you for signing up for text messages i'm like okay whatever that was on the 29th this is the 31st in but i think yesterday morning i got the first text message at 5 a.m on sunday morning uh, and during the day, I think I counted that I got about 15, got about 10 emails today. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's close. It's, it's, it's November 8th is the last day of voting. And that should be the day that she finds out that she lost. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm not a really big fan of attack ads. It's just like when you sit there and you attack your opponent that much in debate, things it just seems like well come on push out your ideas push out what you want to do you don't have any of that oh i see so that's why you're doing all this attacking jesus christ well that was from new york i don't know anybody in new york so I'm guessing that was a free cruise to the Bahamas because someone supposedly signed me up at a Costco. I get those phone calls all the time, just like probably most of you do. 
press one to talk to one of our people now. And what I do is I say, I get out connected. Hey, this is blah, blah, blah. Hey, we've got a great deal for you. Who's this? And I'm like, beware the number 28. 28 was the, what's his name? Buster Posey's number. He's retired, but Buster Posey was the catcher for years for the Giants. So yeah, I just say beware the number 28 and hang up on him. So kind of weird ramen raider voodoo, I guess, but something to do. Got to have fun. If you've got people doing those kind of phone calls all the time, they left a message. Um, all right, we're done. That is done. This is done. This is kimchi shinramyun a big a big a big noodles look good they've got that kind of characteristic shin big bowl kind of deal going on i thought the this variety only came to the uk but i guess it's got the it's got the stuff on the packaging showing like Great Britain and Germany and all this stuff. So I'm going with this is an export version for Europe. In that case, I say it's South Korean. If it were an export version only for England, I would say it's from the UK, United Kingdom. That's how I, that's because it's like, I want to do top tens. I want to do top tens of products for like when I do by the by country. I'm not going to do a South Korean one that's only for, say, Vietnam. That wouldn't make sense because you're not going to find it in South Korea. Maybe a different packaging, but I, I, want, I want to do it. Yeah. Anyways, let's give it a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I'm tasting the spash. Here's our broth, a little bit of veg in there. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Um, nice heat, nice little bit of tanginess. I remember a long time ago, somebody from Nongshim was asking me for advice on my, like, how would I describe their kimchi variety? And they kept pushing me. I was like, well, would you say it's tangy? Would you say it's tangy? I'm like, I'd say it's spicy and flavorful. <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of weird. But, you know. I've had companies ask me, is this a good name for selling it in the U.S.? Of, of things. They haven't done that. But, uh, yeah, some companies have asked me what my recommendation for terminology. There was a company out of Japan that was doing a curry. And they were like, what would you call this? Blah, 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 blah. We were thinking of calling it this. I'm like, eh, throw in the word stew. Throw in savory. I don't know. It's thick. Call it this or that, you know? People hear like the whole like oomphy, I guess. Call it magic oomph noodle. I don't know. It's kind of outside my scope of what I really like to do, but in the same vein, it's kind of neat to be asked. Uh, I made some beef. I really, I've got one, not this review, not the next review, but the one after that will be heavy beef. Uh, I'm gonna use an egg. Uh, I made some eggs this morning. Need to get more eggs. The last of the eggs have been Hard boiled or soft boiled, we'll see. My wife was kind enough to do the peeling today. Thank you. She said, oh, these aren't bad. These aren't bad. This has a little bit of squishy. Uh, I want to go with that route. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, I'm really getting irritated with these eggs. 
What's up with that? What a tiny little baby yolk. Look at that. Can you see that? I hope you can. I'm very irritated. Here we are in Eggland. These aren't the best. There's that. I'm going to throw in some... Normally you would find uh, soybean sprouts perhaps. Not really mung bean sprout country. But they look pretty similar. So don't get all uppity with me. Uh, I got some green onion. Which is generally how they call it over there. And... I'm just gonna go crazy one trick pony on this one and use a little bit of sesame seed. But it's not, that's the problem with a lot of these bowls. It's really hard to see the uh, the broth when you plate it this way, but that's what I'm doing. So you will like that. The next one won't have any broth and I'm pretty excited about it. So let's, uh, is it still recording? Yeah, it is. Good. Then do so. ice cream using shin red cup seasoning and the vegetables from that so look that up this is nongshim it's like shin bokumyun so it's like a dry spicy this might need a uh, mukbang i'm not too sure but we'll see and this is another one that comes by way of the fat hipster on youtube so check him out this has been hans the ramen raider wishing you enjoy my dear noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.